Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another uh, back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing my English dub uh, episode one of Code uh, Code Geass Road Road of Recapture Review. So, for anybody who doesn't know, the episode was released today, episode one on Hulu. Um, uh, in the United States, Disney Plus for any other country. So basically, the way it works is US, Hulu gets it. Every other country other than the United States gets it on Disney Plus. English dub will still come out on the same day, same times, or whatever, dates, whatever. So yeah, that is how it works. Um, so I watched this on Hulu. Um,. And I'm quite intrigued by the first episode. Um, so, th this is based on the new timeline, the movie timeline from Loose Resurrections. This takes place five years after the events of that, which I believe was only a couple of years after the events of how the original series ended. Um, so... We're talking a long time, you know. A lot of time has passed, but I do think the main characters will be in this. Uh, the old main characters from the original series will be back at some point um, in the series, just much older. Um, that being said, um, we have... Um, so, the episode kind of starts off, and it kind of shows like... Uh, I guess a flashback when the main character was younger. Uh, she's like with a twin sister, an identical twin sister. And, uh, you know, it appears that they are captured. Um, but only one really gets captured. Um, and uh, that leads into the whole plot of this where basically... Um, the uh, United States of Japan um, was basically, uh, you know, it was occupied by the Neo-Britannian Empire. Um, and uh, so that's how they kind of take it over. Um I guess the Neo-Britannian Empire is supposed to basically be, I guess, um, see, they're basically trying to, like, get back to the way Britannia, I guess, used to be before, you know, Lelouch took it over and then Lelouch was defeated, um, you know, or, well, <laughs> he defeated himself, I should say. Uh, since he allowed himself to, you know, get killed. Um, but in this timeline, he doesn't actually die. So, basically, um, that's kind of how this works, is that basically uh, they are basically trying to isolate Japan, uh, which they do. Um, they have, like, some, like, barrier thing. Uh, so because of this, uh, like, nobody can get in there. Like, the... They're trying to uh, get in contact with the Black Knights, which is probably why Colin hasn't gone there. Uh, which is kind of interesting, too, because I thought Colin would be, like, around there as well. But I, I guess because she is a Black Knight, that, like she would probably not be in the country at the time it happened. So, she, you know, because you would think Colin would be, like, like trying to do something. Um, so, that's kind of the issue here, is that they're basically trapped. So, um, our main characters is... Ash, who's a nightmare pilot. No, he's not Ash Ketchum. Um, uh, but uh, 
Key's brother is Rose, and um, they're basically trying to, you know, stop the hostility towards, um, you know, the people that are, the Jap Japanese that are being brutalized by um, Britannian forces again, um, basically. Um, so the Britannian forces are basically, uh, they had these two high-ranking officials who basically were just using um, the Japanese people as, like, target practice or whatever, um, and they were just shooting random people, um, so... Yeah, Britannia were being pieces of shit, basically. Um, also, I do want to note this, that I am glad that uh, we are getting the correct pronunciation of Britannia and not Britannia, like the Funimation dub did in the, uh, in the original uh, five uh, Akito episodes. Um, for anybody who doesn't remember that, I do! Um, so... They're actually calling them correctly this time, uh, so uh, kudos to uh, Disney for uh, yeah. By the way, Disney is dubbing this. For, well, they're not dubbing it, but you know they're commissioning the people to dub it. Uh, um, the New York, uh, the New York studio um, is doing it. But uh, so. We see an episode where, like, basically, uh, Ash and uh, Rose, like, they're just, like, kind of, like, traveling. They're picking up strays, I guess, uh, stray animals while they're, you know, helping, you know, they're helping um, people of, uh, you know, Japan, people that are being discriminated against, Um they also, you know, there's also a scene with the Japanese soldier. They talk about the princess. This is actually a reference to the original anime because remember the uh, Lelouch's uh, prince, <laughs> princess from the, the original that wanted to marry him. Like, she's, like, captured uh, in this. Um, so there's that as well going on. Uh, they have to test... Um, they have to test uh, them because they they're because they're Britannians, so they can't like just trust them. Um, so they basically give them a task to uh, basically meet up with this person who is calling herself Black Cat, uh, Hugoda. Um, she basically is uh, telling them, "Will you take this uh, mission? This guy has been torturing Japanese people and just." you know, killing them, uh, and we want you guys to take them both out. So, uh, they met up at, like, an abandoned mo movie theater. So, they accept, and, uh, they lay out the trap. I do like how they bring the whole chess game thing into this as well. Um, we see him confront one of the, the soldiers who is being an asshole, um, uh, the nightmare frame is the person who's taking out the person with, uh, that wants to use everyone as a target practice. Uh, Ash is taking him out, but then, uh, you know, Rose makes a promise to, uh, the other soldier, uh, that's controlling everything, uh, that if you beat me, uh, I'll let you go. As he, you know, takes down all the guards and whatnot. We sort of see this displayed early in the episode when there was a gas station, uh, um, you know, guy discriminating against an empl a Japanese employee. Uh, he changed her, his heart uh, so that he can, uh, you know, uh, help the Japanese uh, instead of hurting uh, her. So we already kind of seen this displayed. Um, early in the episode, Rose basically tells him, if you can beat me, uh, I'll let you go. He fails, and so Rose basically says, you know, now I'm going to do what I gotta do. 
uh, and you know he hands him the gun and is like, "Why would you hand me the gun? Now oh, I can kill you." And then it's like uh, he basically you know transforms. Uh, he takes off his disguise, which is just a big shock. Uh, so Rose is not really Rose, uh, and Ash is not his real brother because he's not a he. He's a she. Uh, he is a he in disguise, and it's Sakura who was that g- girl who, you know, it appeared was basically, you know, kidnapped or whatever. But um, that didn't happen. So she then uses a Gios, which the Gios she has is. Um, through the, like, she has, like, she has a Gios thing on her chest, like, her eyes are, her eyes turn red, um, but it's, like, she has, like, this device to change things, and then it's, like, her Gios, um, her Gios basically is on her chest, she uses it, and basically orders him to basically, uh, either, you know, save uh, over a hundred Japanese people three times more than the ones that you innocently murdered or you must kill your uh, basically shoot yourself uh, basically uh, that was basically the option so he basically just shot himself um, so I don't exactly know if her Gios is exactly like Lelouch's because Lelouch is just basically he can just order people to do whatever they want but it only happens once. Um, her Gios also goes into the ear before, and not necessarily the eye, um, too. They were kind of showing that as well, too. So I'm not exactly sure what her Gios is, whether it's, you know, if that's a specific limit or, you know, if her limit is to basically change their heart or it's a proposition because I don't think it's exactly like Lelouch's, where he can, she can just do whatever like Lelouch did. Because I, I don't think they're that. They're not going to give the exact same thing. Um, but it is quite interesting because it is very similar to Lelouch, Lelouch's uh, in that sense. So we find out, um, you know, later in the episode that, like, after that, that she basically. Um, you know, the Japanese did uh, this to run a test to make sure that they're okay because they're, they're both Britannian. But now they have the mission at hand. Uh, Rose is basically, or Rose, uh, who is Sakura, is basically doing this to get the princess, who's an identical twin of her. Um, so I'm not exactly sure because she's half, apparently she's half Japanese and half Britannian, uh, Sakura is. Um,. But, uh, the princess was basically hostaged, uh, because Sakura, uh, was supposed to be the one they were supposed to get. Um, but they got someone who was an identical twin of her, uh, who, um, by the way, is not actually, um, who is actually not her, by the way, like, they're not actually blood-related, I should clarify, too, they are identical twins, but they're not actually, like, well, at least, they can't be identical twins, they have to be, like, they just really look like each other, and she took the place of Sakura, basically, um, and that's what led to um, her being, you know, the one that was captured. And now she, disguised as Rose, is trying to rescue her. Um, that's basically how this is going. Um, so that is how the episode... Um, that's how the episode ended. Um, it was a really good episode, I thought. 
I thought it was a really good episode uh, to start things off. Um, it'll be really interesting to see where this goes. I'm sure, again, we're going to see the main characters or, or the main characters from the previous series at some point. Um, but right now, uh, they're trying to establish the new characters here. Um, and, uh, yeah, I thought it was a pretty good first episode, um, for what it was. Uh, I'm very curious to see where these guys go with it now, um, going forward. So I am very excited about it. Um, and, uh, we'll see where this goes. Um. Uh, Make sure to comment, rate, if you like this video, my videos, please subscribe, hit the notification bell for the latest content. Thank you. And uh, that's about it. I am the S Ultimate Goku, and I'm out of here. Peace. Also, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, the S Ultimate Goku, uh, the Twitch, the S Ultimate Goku, Instagram, the S Ultimate Goku. And I do have a Discord link in the description where we do talk about a lot of discussions, various topics, as well as this. So make sure to go and check that out. And now I'm out. Peace.